a pizza that has under 400 calories, a crispy crust, good cheesy topping, takes only 10 to 15 minutes to make and there's no dough making involved. Before we get to the step-by-step -step recipe, let's go over the basics and I'll meet you back here for the taste test. Let's go! For the base, instead of the regular dough, we'll be using pita or flatbread. Ethan used Lebanese pitas, but I went a step further by using lavash flatbread. These weigh 40 grams, which at 116 calories have 30% fewer calories than a Lebanese pita bread. Opt for them if you can find them in your supermarket. For the sauce base, I'll be using hummus that I added roasted red peppers to, but you don't have to limit yourself to hummus. Try pesto, the classic tomato sauce, or even the roasted red pepper feta dip that we made last week. Shameless plug, I know. For the cheese, I prefer using low moisture mozzarella, but any kind of good melting cheese would work. Or you can even skip it completely for an even lower calorie version, I'll cover that a bit later in the video. Now the toppings are split into two categories. The ones that get cooked in the oven, like vegetables, spicy peppers or mushrooms. Then there's any kind of leftover cooked meats or cold cuts. And the second topping category is for the fresh vegetables that get added after we take it out of the oven. It's a great way to sneak in some greens, add some crunch or some flavor enhancing acidity like tasty pickled onions. Ok, so first let's look at the full option pita pizza which has just enough calories to call it a meal. Then we'll step into the low cal zone and make a lower calorie version. Before we move into the step by step recipe, like this video and consider clicking the subscribe button then click again on the real subscribe button. Let's go! First off, let's quickly go through the preparing of the leftover meat. I'm using Ethan's mayo marinade chicken. One half of a chicken breast is enough for three pizzas. Add salt and pepper, then one heaping teaspoon of mayo or about 6 grams. Lemon zest and rub it all in. Next place it on a medium heat cast iron pan and let it brown up. You can cut it in half to speed up the process. Now on to the pizza. Start by preheating your oven at 245 degrees Celsius or 475 Fahrenheit and place a sheet pan in the middle rack. Cut into slices about 60 grams of the chicken breast, then do the same for the spicy pepper, also remove the seeds. Now take a lavash pita and add 2 heaping tablespoons of hummus or about 60 grams. And spread it on all the pita surface by trying to go as close to the edges as possible. Now add all the toppings. The chicken, 60 grams of shredded mozzarella, followed by the sliced pepper. With the oven preheated, take out the pan and carefully transfer the pita on the middle. Place it back in the oven and set a timer for 6 minutes. While it's cooking, let's take a look at the calorie breakdown. It totals at just below 600 calories, which is enough to call this pita pizza a decent meal. 27 grams of carbs, 31 of fat and 53 of protein. With the bonus fresh veggies, you're looking at a pretty healthy meal disguised as a pizza. Not bad at all. The beauty of this pizza is that you can prep the second one as the first one cooks. So let's prepare the super low calorie version. Start by adding in a bowl 60 grams or 3 tablespoons of 5% fat ricotta. Then add 2 tablespoons of tomato passata, salt, a pinch of dry oregano and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix it all together and this is going to be the sauce. That will also serve as the cheese of this pizza, no mozzarella will be added. Then dice 4 thin slices or 60 grams of smoked pork loin or ham. Now take the pita, spread the tomato ricotta sauce on it. Add the pork ham, that looks like a lot doesn't it? Now take out pizza numero uno and place pizza numero due in the pan and place it in the oven for the same 6 minute time. Now add the fresh toppings, diced cherry tomatoes and any leafy greens you prefer. I used baby spinach leaves. And finally some pickled red onions. Now while I'm doing that, let's take a look at the calorie breakdown for the second super low cal pizza. As you can see, at just 250 calories, it's a drastic decrease. With 28 grams of carbs, only 8 grams of fat and 80 grams of protein, the macros don't look too bad. This has almost 60% fewer calories than the full option one. 
What you do with this info is up to you. Either take it as is in it as a quick snack or switch the ham for chicken breast to bring up the protein. Now that it's out of the oven, add the fresh toppings. I use the same ones as the full option version. So these are the two pizzas. This is the full calorie one. Well, let's call it rather the full options one. First off, I want to try the low calorie one. All right, so before I say anything about this one, I want to taste this so I can compare the two. In all honesty, the difference isn't that big. It kind of tastes the same. I, I actually expected this one to be way tastier. They're both equally good. That's actually reassuring because there's a big difference in, in calories between these.